In image-based view interpolation, a reconstruction of geometric properties is often necessary to render the scene from new viewpoint. Often, imprecise calibration, depth estimation, dynamic scene content, or non-Lambertian materials can cause disturbing artifacts. We propose a novel approach to rendering and reconstruction that combines the strengths of depth image-based rendering and image morphing techniques. Our rendering pipeline uses depth estimates to obtain a 3D position for every pixel of every input image. We also assume to know the position of the corresponding pixel positions in the neighboring views. Taking their respective depths and a weighing function into account, we move the 3D position of our pixel between the two reconstructed world space positions. By applying this simple 3D warping scheme, we can avoid artifacts like blurring, coasting, or popping in the final result. In our reconstruction pipeline, we iteratively refine the estimates for image correspondences and per pixel depth. We also include a sparse initial depth estimate from state-of-the-art multi-view stereo algorithms. If available, high-level scene segmentation from chroma keying rotoscoping, or other techniques can be incorporated. This example shows that our approach can compete with state-of-the-art in view interpolation. Please note that no user interaction is necessary to process results for this scene. In this comparison, our approach shows its strength in the moving treetop and the semi-translucent car windows. Both scene parts violate basic assumptions of depth-based rendering but are nevertheless handled by our algorithm in a visually plausible way. Our approach can also deal with objects where a 3D location cannot be reconstructed at all. For example, the moving clouds in this scene are handled visually plausible during view interpolation. Although triangulation of corresponding pixels does not yield any useful results, our warping scheme aligns the moving clouds. Our view interpolation can also be used for image stabilization. Motion blur can further be added to create the illusion of a fast-moving video camera. By time-slicing the output, a full 360-degree panorama can be rendered from the same footage. The juggler scene features widely spaced handheld camcorders. While the background geometry can be faithfully reconstructed with structure from motion, the dynamic foreground remains challenging. Again, we recreated the results of the state of the art. Using the same input data, our hybrid rendering improves on the originally employed billboard switching based techniques. Due to our iterative reconstruction refinement, long-range view interpolation becomes viable. Please note that neighboring cameras are placed more than 40 degrees apart. Previously, image-based view interpolation has only been feasible using billboard representations of the foreground object. Computing a rough depth map helps us to improve on this common technique as it can be seen on the left. By applying the correspondent maps during rendering, a believable transition between images is achieved as seen on the right. A comparison to state-of-the-art showcases the benefits of our approach. We recreated a short clip of the Who Cares music video. While previous techniques require elaborate retouching, our approach achieves comparable results without any user interaction. Our approach lends itself as a rendering backend for modeling and compositing tools such as Blender and Nuke. Using our coarse geometry as a proxy, the virtual view can be augmented with 3D modeled objects and lighting. We can insert new objects and use the lighting information from our proxy geometry to create novel stylizations of the scene. Using commercially available camera tracking software, we can also augment real-world recordings with our free viewpoint renderings. The sparse 3D reconstruction of the new scene can be aligned with the multi-camera recordings.
We would like to thank you for your attention.